when telling the time, it is important to remember that the short hand is called the hour hand and the long hand is called the minute hand. Now, I'm going to tell time to the nearest minute by looking at this sheet and at this clock right here. I'm going to show you my example on this big clock. Now, the hour hand is at the one and the minute hand is here. Now, looking at this clock here, I can see that the short hand or the hour hand is at the one, which means that it is one o'clock. And the minute hand, I'm going to start by up here and counting five, 10, 15, and one marker after that, which we know represents one minute, makes that 16. So the time would be 1.16 or 16 minutes past one.